Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to assign a random color from a ramp to any object that's been copied to points. So we're going to start by just dropping in a geometry node and we will also create a grid and then something to copy to the grid points, which will be a sphere. Now we're going to create an attribute randomize and this can be done a number of ways, but because I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a color node, a VOP and VEX, it's easiest just to create this attribute here. So I'm just going to create this attribute and call it piece. We're going to change this to a discrete value and we're going to lower its dimensions to one. And then the max value, we're going to point to the endpoints of quotation dot dot grid one quotation and into that so now no matter how many points you have it will always give you the correct max value so we could change this to say five by five and now this will say 25 rather than 100 and hey make sure you're subscribed with notifications on otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on youtube we're going to use a copy two points and put the sphere on the left and the grid in the right. So now we have all of these balls, which we can now randomize the color of. So possibly the most straightforward way to do this is with a color node, and we can just chuck that output into there. And then what we want to do is set the color type to ramp from attribute, and we're going to use our piece attribute. And now it's just a matter of setting this to a constant. If you want constant, random colors and adding in as many colors as you want so we've just got red white black there and finally we need to set the range which is using the same max value as this attribute randomized so we're just going to copy that and paste it in there and now we get three random colors based on this ramp and you don't have to use constants, but I'm assuming here that you want a number of colors to be picked from. And this is better than using your color ramp ran, uh, color randomize because you just get random colors of any hue and value. So this is a much better way of controlling your look. So that's way one. Next way is with a point vop. And we'll just plug that in there and we'll look at this. So we need to get a bind and the name of the bind is the name of our parameter, which is piece. We need to fit this into a zero to one value. So we're just gonna create a fit range and our source max, we can just paste again. Uh, however, we will need to set that to say obj slash geo one so it's our complete path to grid one. And uh, make sure you start that with a slash. Yep, so we get 25 there. And then we can just run the piece output into the value. Then we need to add in a ramp parameter. And run the ramp out into the CD. So you'll see it's randomizing the color already, but we'll actually need to go up to the uh, geometry level and then add in our interpolations. And there you go. And the final way to do this is with an attribute wrangle. So we'll just run the copy to points into there and we'll have a look at this. So what we want to do is create a float for our piece attribute and we will randomize it based on its piece attribute. And then we'll create a CD, which is the color attribute. And we'll make this a vector because we're using RGB and we'll create a channel ramp and we'll call it whatever you want. It's going to be just color ramp and piece because we're using that piece attribute to define where it goes on the ramp. And then we'll just need to add the extra parameters. And again, just change that to constant and add in some colors. And there you go. So the same result, three different ways, um, depending on your preference or what your specific setup is working like this may be easier or harder 
uh, depending on what you're trying to do. If you're wanting to do this in a for loop, I have an emitter tutorial which you can watch and that will show you how to do the same thing based on a detail within a for loop. So um, it is based off a non-constant number so you won't have to, so you'll get a, a static random color for each object that's created. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.